2019 was not my best year and I need to make some changes. I think I'm in focus. Oh, I kicked my water bottle. Hi there, welcome back. If you couldn't tell from my voice, I'm still sick. By the time this video comes out, I will have been sick for 31 days. That is a full month. I haven't really been able to do much, but it's given me a lot of time to think. And I came to the realization that I think that I need to make a few changes. My only problem is that I am sort of stuck and confused and just a little bit lost. So I wanted to sit down and make a video and talk about it. Oh, also, happy holidays, happy new year, merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, happy that. I'm sure that there's going to be a handful of videos that are very similar to this one given that we are going into the new year. I mean, I know there's a whole saying, new year, new me, but I mean, this this year I think is going to be a really big year for me because in, in 2019, <clears throat> it's been a year of trial and tribulation and growth. And I have this really deep feeling in my soul <laughs> that 2020 is going to be a year where I take all of the things that I've learned from 2019 and I get the opportunity to apply them. But in order for me to do that, I feel like I'm gonna have to mix things up a bit so that I can truly be the best version of myself. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So I wanted to come here and I wanna talk to you about it because I feel like by just talking about it, I might be able to like comprehend what I'm feeling better. I might be able to like understand it more and get a grasp of what I, I really want to have happen. Does that make sense? So I know the title of this video is like kind of clickbaity. It's not necessarily untrue because I do want to make some changes. I'm just not sure what those changes are going to be. You know what? This is kind of like a like a New Year's resolution video, like the things I'm going to do and this is going to hold me accountable and you're going to hold me accountable, okay? Let me tell you what I want some of these changes to be. I kind of want to talk about weekly videos. Weekly videos are a really big challenge for me because I am a chronic procrastinator. I am filming this video Saturday night at 8 o'clock. Am I going to get it done? Yeah. Is it the healthiest way of getting it done? Absolutely not. Do I go to bi-weekly? Do I make a better schedule? That would keep me uploading on Sundays at noon. Do I change the day I upload? I don't know. I personally love planning. I love sitting down at the beginning of my week and planning out what I'm going to do. I'm just really bad at sticking to that plan. And really what I want to do is plan my videos like way in advance so that when the time comes for me to film them, I can do it. And it would be good quality content, not this like half committed stuff that I've been doing and I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. Something's gonna change. Just haven't quite figured out what it is. I have a really cool series idea because I really, really want to like redo my room, like redesign it, paint the walls, do this, do that. I just like haven't done it. I work from my room. I live in my room. I, I do everything in this one room. And I also know that that's not healthy. Somebody let me know if that's a good idea. <laughs> but I also just feel like it'd be a really fun series taking you guys with me on how I like kind of take charge of my life again. Because over the last, I don't know, five months, I've really lost sense of what my life is. Like everything that I had, I had a system. I had a, you know, a routine and it completely got thrown out the window and over the past, you know, five months I have struggled with insane anxiety, panic attacks, I, depression, like it messed, it rocked my world so hard and I really want to do something that is going to give me part of my life back. So I feel like this is a start, this video is a start in itself. I feel like this video is the turning point. 
but I feel like I just have such good vibes from the idea of 2020. Like, the thought of 2020, I just feel like it's going to be a big year. 2019 was not my best year, and I need to make some changes. Do I know what this video is? No. I don't know if any of this makes sense. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just talking. I am so stuck in this routine that it feels almost toxic now. I don't know if I need a physical change or like a, an emotional change or a spiritual change. Do I need to like crack open my Bible more and you know, start doing daily devotions again? Probably. Do I need to, I don't know, get a tattoo or pierce my nose? I don't know. I'm not going to. Don't worry, mom. I'm not piercing my nose. It was just an example, a metaphor, if you will. And I just feel like so many good things are gonna happen in 2020 that need to start with a change. Like my, right now my heart is like racing because I don't wanna say the wrong thing and I don't want people to be mad at me. This isn't the kind of thing that I think people would get upset about. I just don't wanna come off selfish. I'm gonna make some changes. Whoa, that felt really good to say. That was like, that wasn't me saying maybe I'm gonna make a change. That was me saying I am going to change. And it's gonna be good. And it's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna be epic. And I'm gonna be happy again. And wow, that feels good. I am so ready to start chasing happiness again. If you get anything out of this video, I hope that you get inspiration. I hope that you get inspired to change something, even if you don't know what it is yet, but that you're gonna actively try to change something. Okay, wow. Sorry, that's just like, it's not a thought anymore. It's an action. I am taking hold of my life and doing what I want with it again. I guess that's all I needed, was to just kind of sit here and talk about it. So thank you for listening. <laughs> let's go and let's make some changes and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Like, I needed to do that. I needed to talk about that. Because 2019... <laughs> <coughs>